What is going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, so today we got a uh, Prime 1 statue in the house. This is the Attack Raptor. So originally when they showed off all the Velociraptors, they showed the three, the Open Mouth, Closed Mouth, and the Attack. I always wanted the Attack. The other two went up for PO. This one never went up for PO for about two years. So once the Open Mouth was shipping, I was like, you know what? They're probably not going to release it. It's been two years. So I got the Open Mouth, which I loved. And I had it for, you know, a while. And then they finally released this one. However, it did not come with the Velociraptor signboard. Someone wanted to buy my open mouth, but I didn't want to relinquish the signboard. So I told them I'll sell it, I'll, but I want to keep the signboard. And then they have to basically fund this. Plus shipping. You know, because that one's very rare, like 100 ES. This one's 350. And they agreed, so here we are. I kept my signboard, and we're getting the Raptor I always wanted. So let's go ahead and open this box. Here it is. These are very simple, you know, setups. It's literally just a base and a Velociraptor. The base is the exact same as my other Raptor was. So there is the base. You know, nice jungle themed base. And then here is the raptor. Let's look at this bad boy. Look at that. Killer pose. Uh, similar to my one tenth. So just go ahead and set it up. All right, we got the base out. And here's the raptor. Just wanted to show you guys for size reference. Super long tail in this guy. Check that out. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that big open mouth. Alrighty, and here we have it, the 1-6 Raptor. So this is everything you get, two statue parts, the body and the base. So it makes it uh, unboxing very easy. This box actually was quite a bit bigger, I think, than the open mouth. I don't know, it, it feels bigger. And then again, I don't have the open mouth anymore. And it's been about a month since I shipped it. This one does have a noticeably longer tail than that one uh, due to the pose. So it's just a little bit longer, but the base size itself is the exact same. I think the only thing they truly changed up was where it pegs in. Other than that, you got the black Velociraptor under base Jurassic Park logo, the bones, which I love this theme. And here you have a mix of like sculpted plants and then the fake ones. I think it does work really good. I like the mixture of both, you know, because I feel like that plant probably wouldn't look too good if it was real. This one is sculpted, sculpted, fake, 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 sculpted. Tons of little rocks and almost little branches that fall off. There's one raptor footprint here and one right there. So, you know, they run in packs similar to like lions and dogs. So, and then this one is in that classic attack pose we see in the movie where it's like hunched down about to leap at you, have its claws in that position like it's about to grab you because they have those long hands and claws that they utilize. utilize. So very, very cool. Super long tail. This is quite a long piece. But I, I definitely really like this pose definitely more than the open mouth. That giant open mouth is just so cool. Very glossy tongue. Uh, which looks great. The eyes look good. Very overall well painted. So there you have it. The claws look very sharp. So very cool. I noticed on mine it's not quite sitting flush on the base. Now it is quite cold here in Utah. We've been getting snow after snow. So I'm pretty confident that's the culprit. I believe within 24 or 40 hours it'll probably settle down and touch. If not, I could probably use a heat gun, but you know, the piece just touching it, it still feels very cold. So I'm not gonna mess with it for at least 48 hours, let it just cool off. It's not a huge deal though. It's not very noticeable unless I'm looking, you know, like that. Anyways, let's go put this next to the Raptor bust. Alrighty, so here it is in the display. Now, this is just here to show you the difference between the two, one tenth versus one six. The poses are very close to being the same. However, this one is not as hunched down and the claws are more up, or that they're more down. 
Other than that, they are extremely similar. Although, I, you know, obviously the paint app on the Prime one is superior, but you know, we're not keeping that there. Again, I'm, I am selling this and that Raptor if anyone wants it. Otherwise, you know, we'll just keep it like this. Already there we go, looks better. Uh, so yeah, here it is. The only thing we're going to be updating is when I get Chronicle Raptor Bust, which should allow this to be more spacious because that base is quite big. And Chronicles is much smaller, so I should be able to move him a little bit more to the right, not at that edge, and just space these out a little bit better as well. So I, I think it'll work better with Chronicle. Now Chronicle is definitely shorter, that's for sure. So I do, you know, I may have to even angle chronicle this way i think instead of directly to the side i was thinking maybe we angle it heck we could even angle it this way if it doesn't protrude out too much my chronicle still is not shipped yet though the seller or yeah the seller i bought it from it's been two weeks since i've paid they still have not shipped so i'm starting to lose faith i'm gonna actually get it they claim they needed to order a special custom brown shipper and I'm like, you couldn't just create one on your own. Go to Walmart and buy some stuff. Anyways, it hasn't shipped yet. So if it doesn't ship in the next week, I'm just going to cancel and keep my custom. But hopefully they actually ship it. Because I do want to get Chronicle. But there it is. Attack Raptor. Good to have this spot filled again. Because it was empty for a good month or so. But overall, I do like this quite a bit. I do like preferred over the standard open mouth or closed mouth. I think if you want a Raptor, this is the one to get, or you get blue. You know, if you like blue. The nice thing about blue is he's actually in three movies. He has like a much bigger character profile than this, which is just like a regular Raptor. However, this is the classic look from the original Jurassic Park movie. You know, plus the pose is unbeatable. You know, I do love Blue's pose, which Blue is right here right now. You know, like, his pose is cool. He's also quite long. And he has a very intricate paint out because of the blue patterns and white. So, I definitely love that Blue. It's extremely cool. You know, but you gotta have that OG classic uh, as well. It's like you almost need two Raptors, Blue and OG, because they're so different. The sculpts are similar, but the paint outs are drastically different. So I love having both personally. But Ender Raptor, that was just picked up by UPS, so he's out of the collection. I was never a big fan of that movie, honestly. I, I think it's terrible. And the Ender Raptor was supposed to be like this ultimate specimen, yet he still lost to a regular Velociraptor. So clearly he was a failed experiment. And, you know, I just didn't care to get him. Where, you know, my favorite Indoraptor, or the Indominus Rex, <laughs> that guy was a beast and it took a t-rex a raptor and the mosasaurus to take him down so i love him plus he was also tough he's tough i love tough villains there is star wars right there we'll probably do something next to vader on the right but yeah anyways folks this is it uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below overall i absolutely love it it looks awesome really really cool that is it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're looking to buy this, use the links below, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.